Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're about to start our uh, program for today. My name is uh, James Lucan. I'll be your master of ceremony for the evening's program. Thank you. Kumar uh, Margan, Shirong Amidya Pilung, Shirong Amidya Gidi, Kumar Radha Pumbatatwa, Kumar Radha Pumbatatwa, once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to Yap Day 49th Animal Celebration. Tonight's event is the soft opening ceremony for the 49th uh, Yap Day. Before we start our program, there's a slight change in the program that I'd like to announce. There's a presentation of color, and then the national anthem will be thanked, sang. Then the honorable governor of the state of Yap will uh, deliver his welcoming remark. Then after that, they will have a traditional dance uh, performed for you to them. Thank you. Before we commence our program today, on behalf of the Yap State Governor, I'd like to welcome everybody. His Excellency, President Peter Christian, the Honorable Governor of Yap, Tony Ganayan, the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Yap, James Singatmai, member of the, the Diplomatic Corps, the Councils of uh, Pilu and Council of Kumol, the Yap State Ninth Legislature, our guest from our sister state of Palau. I welcome you all to the state of Yap. Thank you very much. We will now be entertained by the presentation of colors by the Yap State Police Officers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, I'd like to call upon the Honorable Tony Gnoyad for his uh, welcoming remark. Uh, 
this evening, Your Excellency and Plenipotentiary Ambassador Li Jie of the People's Republic of China Embassy and the FSM, Your Excellency and Plenipotentiary Ambassador Robert Riley of the United States of America Embassy and FSM, Your Excellency and Plenipotentiary Ambassador Roichi Hori of the Jap Japan Embassy and the FSM, representing His Excellency George Fraser, Ambassador of the Australian Embassy in our nation, First Secretary and Counselor, the Honorable Neil Young, Your Honorable David Morris of the Pacific Islands Trade and Investment Commission in Beijing, China, Chief Yabadul and the remaining esteemed delegation of the Palau families and respective delegation members of each esteemed representation here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Lieutenant Governor James Singhatmai and I, our families, state leadership and the people of Yap State, I am greatly humbled by your presence to this year's event. Time and again you have shown great extensive support to our cost in celebrating our Yap Day every March 1st for the past 49th year marking this date today. This is how long it's been yet this is how short it has at the same time. While 49 years may seem a long time, it is, however, a very short period in any historical bookmark. Despite these differences, though, what's more important this evening is for us to welcome you all and realize the importance of Yapi's culture and tradition together with you. Two very short points I would like to share with you as we officially open this year's event. Number one, Yap Day. My fellow Yapis, in my inaugural statement in January 2015, I stated what we believed in to be of the same today, that Yapis people are truly sufficient and independent. While I may not have eloquently mentioned Yap Day in my statement, I did, however, insinuate how true Yapis people are up to this day. Hence, celebrating every year's Yap Day gives me a sense of pride in myself as a Yapis person. Freely exercising my customs and tradition every day, not just on Yap Day. We must not forget our true identity. We must not cease to exercise and practice Yapi's historical dances, chants, and meaningful stories. We must make Yap Day an everyday thing. So while we may succumb to the name Yap Day, the walk and talk of it must be an everyday ritual. We shall call it Yap Everyday. We 
call it YAP every day to remind us how imperative it is to continue to use our own local languages. As you know, your language is your custom. Speaking and or writing someone else's language is promoting someone else's customs. So YAP should consider part of the crucial element of YAP Day to be the importance of our own Yapese languages and how they must not be forgotten. We must hold on tight to them without losing them entirely. Practice speaking and using your language on a daily basis. That's talking the walk. Perform more of our local dances on a daily basis, for it has meaningful content which describes who we are and where and how we got to where we are today. Aside from languages, we must cultivate and grow local healthy foods as part of who we are as Yapis people. Draw from nature the local medicines our ancestors left, with, left us with. Moreover, sail in open water and explore more in our traditional navigation society as the Wagai and others have been doing. Now that's walking the talk. Yap every day. Number two, traditional authority to be supported as part of Yap Day. Finally, in my inaugural speech, a strong traditional authority is another building block that is invaluable to our voice towards self dependence as Yapis people. As elected leaders, we must not marginalize traditional authority or each roles and functions in government. We must give traditional authority our candid support and respect. We must not forget that without traditional authority, the government today may not have secured the easements it needed to build our roads airports, hospital, our wharf, and our schools. Just as with traditional authority, Yap Day celebrations may not be realized. The civil order and peace and the sense of community cohesiveness that we enjoy in the state spring from the norms of customs and traditions that only traditional authority can uphold. In brief summary, we need our traditional authority, namely the Council of Pilum and the Council of Tumol in everyday society. Celebrating today's event must bear in our minds that it is because of our government setup with the unique four branches that we are who we are as Yabis people. We knew that having no traditional authority would totally strip off our local power not only in language, custom, and tradition, but in self-identity. Let's be proud of who we are as Yapis people, and let's do it humbly with our friends from afar who have traveled not only to witness it, but to learn it as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking also the Yapte community and the hosting committee of Gugil Municipality for another successful YAP Day this year of 2017. I will be remiss if I don't thank all of you who have come from afar to celebrate this 49th YAP Day with us today. May you have a wonderful YAP Day 2017 together with our people. And if there's anything you need during your stay, please feel free to inform any of our people so we can make sure of it the best way we can. Thank you everybody. We are now ready to be entertained with a, a Yapis marching dance from the village of uh, Alibue, which is uh, a village of this municipality, Weloi who's hosting our event today. Thank you.
start kan era tadi dauri ne ka war mara ko nuri fayang ne ka be ki ngi wadan bor bor ta ne ni pi yun bare ya ya fa sisi na ya president trade fasham pir christian ko ya us embassy ya japanese embassy ya china embassy Kubi Australian Embassy, walau dia Chief Idol, kami ni Australia Coral State, kubi delegasi nombor kau, dah ni uni uni rukai, ya wa Stotomal, mereka bi Alfonso, di kubi Chief, di Speaker. Kau stay di nomor kau, kembali dan kembali di mundur ambil kau ya play. Aku sana dari uni bi presiden kau republik Armengsau, macam apa Charles Obiang di biro di kembali. Ada iran lagi je ni. Kamu kari mukar, mau kari takut dia state ini wap, kamu kari kau ingin kumpel kumpel dah, tetok nak nak, atau mula kamu kari kata gigi kau flak nugel, kamu kamu flak dalam ruang lah, tetok nak orang orang yang di 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 apa dia kan? The Gil Minish Palati would like to recognize. Our uh, honored guest from uh, from afar, from Palau, from the national government, uh, from the different embassies, uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, we hope you enjoy uh, the next few hours of the second day of the Yap Day celebrations. 
we'd like to call now upon the uh, chief of uh, Gogil municipality uh, to say a few words uh, for all of us. Come on, chief. So, we can't get the the Kamara <laughs> ni weather on a protocol ng itin ba yung hindi ni 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 mapayaw ni may nang airport tungo peda yung ang ang atakubin din ni Aran ng weather on a follow-up kara ubulum kaya ita gumana ni kubiyar employees na rukaya am ni ni bayog ng ayan ng ni cover ng itin ba na nabiyo nabiyo ko ko ubul ah Come the Bazaar Nungo, Pinanda, Ayoko, co private sector, private sector, Kamarim Gar, is there beyond your contribution, is my pay, Makubi or Bibna, either Kangana, Ayo, need my pick or umbrella, rather me and my mummer one Nangasaka umbrella, Kamar Morai, Kurba. Ko <laughs> Next on our program, and it is a must, I'm calling on you, Father Padre, to please come and help us. Uh, Pray, it's such a beautiful day and we should all bow our head and give thanks to the man. More Padre. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, whose goodness fills our hearts with joy. Blessed are you who have brought us together this day to celebrate in harmony and peace. We ask you to bless this celebration of Yappi's culture. Bless the participants and visitors with safety and joy. Through this celebration of culture, may we come to a deeper appreciation of all the gifts of the human family. Strengthen us with your grace and wisdom, for you are God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Next on the program is uh, the carriers of those uh, stone money.
special type of dance only for the high chiefs so you chiefs sitting there hold on
first of all, you can just view the 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 coloring or uh, the amount of uh, uh, pieces of loincloth. So you have one, two, and then the f the youngest over there to my right, your left, one piece, red, and then red white, red white with lava lava, and then red white uh, or red lava lava and hibiscus, and uh, hibiscus uh, red, or, uh, over here all the way to my left or your right. So beginning with the youngest, um, this category is called uh, uh, P-U-T-H, uh, Young Immature Male. This age group wears one piece of cloth as thu or loin cloth. A boy is considered with when they are start when they start walking, therefore have to wear clothes. He can go anywhere with his or uh, his mother or father. Uh, second here in two colors. Uh, that's uh, with three. Maturing male wearing two pieces of loincloth or two, dyed different colors, as you can see, red and white. This is usually the teenage group and obliged to accompany the men of the family on daily activities. Third, you have two colors, lava lava, there in the middle. Uh, this age group are the young adult males. They add another piece of thu to their attire. A person from this age can do anything from being on either side of the two separate age groups, the boys and the men. That's this gentleman over here in the middle. Uh, moving to my left, your right. Younger than um, uh, what is it? Young, young, young man. Younger than uh, older than a young man. Uh, younger than an old man. Something like this. Uh, <clears throat> this is the mature male, youngest mature male in the family community. Um, lava lava is included. And um, usually uh, one, two, or three colors are worn. They participate in meetings, usually listening to discussions and carrying out the decisions made in those discussions. So can attend the meeting, but usually in a listening or observer. They are considered uh, adult male in the community. And then you have a uh, fifth group, uh, gentlemen to my left here, right? This is the male, the adult male. He's male and uh, add hibiscus. And uh, usually, often our speakers in the meetings uh, attend um, village meetings municipal meetings, make decisions on behalf of family, uh, village, and municipality. So, slight uh, differentiation between this category and the previous one in that uh, one is a listener and one is a speaker. Last and missing is uh, elders category. As you can see, this is quite a, a rare <laughs> find weren't able to procure one for your for your uh, viewing so please round of applause and uh, if you would like you can come up to uh, view uh, closer uh, if not then uh, I'll uh, send them out thank you very much Good
Shrow, Shrow, mukem mengerjakan katok kafamin para rakyat program belajar dengan dibeli itu mereka na mereka na aku pin pinu up kakro mengecil. Re volier la para rak e lebor volier lo amun aja ni. Ra rakon volier le pin pin. Marah aku ni engruk, tak besar tercan dari gelung-gelung ni. Ni weather aku na warbrof, mang, fangan tak tercan. Ere ere mang kura ini nak nawa dari fan yang efek awai, ere efek am tulpa. For those of you who do not understand the piece. This young girl, the grass skirt is this type of grass skirt. And when she walks on the road, she doesn't carry a basket. So she takes a branch to, to show respect to the people and the village. Thank you, Labor. Okay, the next one is the goal. This is also a girl, a young girl. The, the grass skirt shows the, uh, the age difference, the responsibility difference also. And uh, she's not required to carry a basket when walking around, walking around in the village. So she carries a branch when she walks. And the responsibilities at home, she helps more because she has learned a lot more. Benia Guliela kapit lebut, ada kai orbo cak ayu, nama tu itu now, marai nuk nawo, ma befekam telpa, nak arifan ngri fekawai, kurangan rafi kumfan rabo, kemar tu edi. Uh, the next one, the third one, is much more interesting, and uh, and her name is Glorian Rungun. Uh, this girl, when Yapi's girl reaches this age, we usually, a long time ago, we we put her in a uh, hut outside of the village. She has a person to take care of her, to cook for her, to do whatever. The grass skirt is supposed to be changed every three days. Uh, she goes to um, shower and put coconut oil on her, turmeric on her every day. She takes care of her body for four months outside of the village. She does not come to the village. She's not supposed to come to where people are. So she's there outside of the village and take care of herself and four months later when she comes, we don't recognize her anymore. She's more lovely and pretty. And um, the She's not supposed to touch her body. So the stick on her hat is to use to, to, uh, to scratch her head. And the stick on her uh, mat is to scratch her body with. Her hands is not as clean because she touches things and her body is supposed to be taken care of and be kept clean. And uh, the mat on her is supposed to protect her and to use when she puts something on her. And so uh, that's how we take care of our girl, long time ago. These days, we don't have that much, but I think we should. Thank you, Glorian.
The next one is uh, Gapfe. Uh, this girl is now in the village. Past the time for uh, staying, you know, outside of the village. And so when she goes, when she walks the road, she has her basket with her. And uh, she's more mature and, um, and helps a lot in the, at home and in the village as well. Thank you, Gapse. Uh, among Benwari Pin, Sergo Yestro, and Silku Glorian, Bene Pine Rarone Pin Pin, Napandra Rod Mantang, Imata from Rivat Devan Un Ur Evnau, that even line Evnau, Mabe Yupakana won Ramal and Evnam, that client Baba Nabirif, Ne Ereva Faruli, Erebe Lumak. Ireve kira-kira aman aruk ngah ngecili fruk. Ireve ini terapi warung-warung ber ni ngah 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 mak. Ibe sili ke pinir from ni gubernal ngalas. Ya iba ibe si ko bermaluk ngecili ngemu ngesi ko korang. Yang ayuwe garapadir kenam, rada uwe fruk kenam. Yang isulung lan binau magin out sedengak. Ndebe pin nipidorang muke muke mukaflifal. Mar me ben barara ni gapsei. Ar makapre ben matai muke sul kamolan bina matna kwa from you to aknao sisna dab in de yab tul. Wayen ko tin barara aknao ni ni yab aknao nu wa ni gidi in burgod fa butai amindi. Okay, now we have come to the. Fifth uh, girl in line, uh, the goal. The this age is now uh, the age of people that are married and contributing to the mankind, bearing children, and um, and uh, taking care of children. Family, her family, helping a lot more in the village and in the community, and um, and be responsible for training her own children. Thank you, Dee. And now we come to the last person in line. That is a Puelo. The the oldest uh, level of uh, woman doing things in the village. There are older people, but they're, you know, too old to do activities, a lot of the activities. Puelwol is a rank in Yapi's uh, culture that if we say the word come from the Puelwol, this age of woman, then we should, you know, follow the order because it's from the Puelwol. This stage, they decide what to do in the village, and then the younger, the younger people, has to, you know, follow whatever they have come up with. So uh, they're very powerful in the village, and when they walk around, they carry their basket with them, sit down, and most of the time they're not doing much, but they can. If they, if need, if need be, they do it. But otherwise, they're just giving the the instructions, and then the younger people are doing it, learning it. Uh, okay, thank you. Bini pin ar meira ya pueblo, pueblo ko bina from ada manang ni nukub ka lang ra. Ya fan ka dara ka ra kibe bini aswatin ka ko pueblo. Mang the pet farm, ngadir na nuwadir ko na kaya para sa pati ng mga pueblo na hindi dibigoy ay tinubto frida at ngay tinubto frida ngadir na. Ara kumagarada kumagarad ma irarya tumurko niya program frida. 
Thank you very much. Most highly valued money on island is called Rao. A necklace formed in shells and whale teeth or tooth. This rare and valuable item is reserved for chiefs. Rao was first brought to Yap by the ancient navigator Anugumang of Tab village in Tamil. Shell money, yar. Another important Yapis currency is yar or shell money. These are the most prolific in terms of uses. There are four kinds of Yapis shell money that are used for important events like, like, what? like marriage proposals and celebrations as well as to tender traditional pleas and apology. Shell money is also used as a payment for local medicine or other skills and knowledge. The value of, this, of the shell increases when it is being decorated with tusk and other beautiful she cells. Some of the shells are whole while others are cut and attached to decorated wooden handles. This is called filoi. Four types of yar. The far end, yarn sipping. This type has a yellow inlay and has harvested from a sunken coral island 35 miles north of Yap called Sipin. It is very rare and very individual, very few individual have possession of them. So that's why they are hidden. They are wrapped. Uh, only specific people can see them. This is usually bigger and thicker with ivory inlay. They were brought from the Philippines, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and other foreign lands. The shell is used for traditional plea and for peace between two disputing or, or quarreling parties, families, or municipalities. Yarnabalau. These shells were collected from Palau. The most common uses for the shell is for marriage requests from man's family to the potential wife's family. Trump, Trump. These are found in Yap. They are small in size and a few are usually linked in groups of five on length of coconut ropes. These are mainly used for dances, feasts, and celebrations. This type of shell money are easily distinguished by yepis based on the coloring on the inside of the shell and the type and types. There are important norms covering the exchange of shell money and such knowledge is passed down from generation to generation. Close attention is paid to the type and number of shell money that is offered during exchanges. Thank you very much. Eh, 
avec moi, comment aller Comment aller Comment aller Moi, 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 As with uh, any work, uh, you need to have some medicine. So they're uh, taking medicine now. Uh, apologies, not medicine, uh, that's tuba. dances here in Yap, there are always be someone to be ahead of the dance with a shell money, especially when you are dancing on a different municipality. That is a very respectful way of uh, performing your dance or whatever you have on a different municipality here in Yap. So ladies and gentlemen, please let's all put our hands together for a bamboo dance from Wallah Run.
a diversity of the artistic style, patterns, and morphics make it difficult at first to recognize any form as recurrent 
and as a basic to the art of its vast area as a whole. But a closer examination of tattoo mythology revealed a recurring theme that most of the designs are derived from nature and the art itself was a gift from the gods. Yet these tattoos are designed are mostly vertical resembling house decorations, bird, fish, fish bones, and fish, and fish fins, and fish tails.
Watch out, ladies and gentlemen. He's chasing everything he's brought to the dancers. He, he returned them back to you. So don't ever try to apply any magic on them because you'll get it back. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, these are beautiful young dancers from uh, village of Ma in Tamil municipality. Uh, <clears throat> The name of this dance is called Yubung. Yubung. Uh, Yubung is the only type of plant to plant here in Yap that don't grow by seed. They grow by each root, no seed at all. They are representing the birds which the, the fishermen follow to the island. <clears throat> this is a, a currency displayed by the men of uh, Ma Tamil. Uh, a lot of uh, traditional uh, values. Again, this village is called Ma and the very first and second currency is called ma, a very valuable uh, currency. So they are very, very proud of that, uh, of that currency. And uh, I think that's where it, uh, it came from. I could be wrong, but that is my idea, excuse me. As you can see, some of the traditional uh, uh, shell money displayed it doesn't matter how hot the sun is, but the dancers must wait for the currency display. After the currency display, the leader could give them both to go ahead and dance. So ladies and gentlemen, great dancers, beautiful dancers from the village of Ma Tamil. Thank you very much.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your patience. And the last dance, last dance is on the floor right now. Uh, before we move on, please put your hands together for the great dancer of Romo Finif. Na pin kumagat. Okay, the name of this dance from Romo Finif is called uh, Lapakin. Uh, I was told that uh, it's uh, a traditional uh, game or a traditional uh, chant uh, they've been uh, doing in the village. Uh, it's for fun.
Renam Kumran, Kumar Mara of Tony True Nurmo, Margaret Maria True Amen. Please give them another round of applause. 